very first guest, as always, at the International Consumer Electronics Show. Needs no introduction, but I always like introducing him anyway, because he's been a great friend of the show for many years. Not only do we have his support, but he knows that he has ours over these years, bringing you the latest consumer electronics. Always delighted to have him with us. He is the president and CEO of the organization that put CES together and many other events throughout the years. The CEA, the Consumer Electronics Association, Mr. Gary Shapiro. How are you, sir? Dave, it's great to be here. We could kick off the show. You're officially here now. Uh, <laughs> we're kicking off 2010 and yeah. this new decade and this new show. Great. It's great to be here. You have not only a plethora of exhibitors, some 2,500 plus, you've got uh, some 300 and change new first time exhibitors. There's a lot of excitement already going on at CES, and we've got three weeks worth of, of things to talk about on the program. But kudos to you and your team for putting together yet again another spectacular show that what we've seen so far, even. Well, thank you. We're just obviously reflecting the industry. And, and in my 30 years of attending CES, I have never been as excited as a show as about this one. And the reason is, is because it's been a tough couple of years for our nation and our economy and, frankly, our industry. Mm -hmm. But it's been good in a way. First of all, there's more innovation at this show than any show in our history. 330 new exhibitors, 11 of the 21 tech zones are new. Plus, in a few days' time, we've had more product and channel and entertainment and technology announcements than I can recall ever. I mean, every minute some company here is making a new announcement. And why is it all? Why did all this innovation come? Well, some of it, like 3D, has been years in the making. Yeah. But I think a lot of it is because of the recession. I think every company looked around at their employees and said, look, if we don't innovate, we die. It's competitive out there. We had 200 exhibitors more last year. Mm -hmm. Those 200 companies are gone. Wow. In fact, we have 330 new ones, so it's 530 companies that are gone. Um, they couldn't cut it. And now if you're just selling the same product as everyone else, me too, consumers are just buying a very, very, very inexpensive product um, at, at price. But if you're offering something different that no one else has, a feature, a function, something really cool, then you can survive. And that's what we're seeing this year at this time now. It is absolutely phenomenal. I love that. So if one word would wrap up CES 2010, you would think it's innovation. Innovation without a doubt, which of course ties in so nicely to our innovation movement, yep. which is a grassroots effort of people, Americans, who want to tell their government that innovation is important to our future. Look, we are in so much debt as a country, we have to, to grow our economy to get out of this debt. And the only way we'll do that is if we show what we are as Americans. We're innovators. We always want to do something better than someone else. Our forefathers came here because they wanted something better. Yeah. We have the First Amendment because we can challenge the status quo and challenge authority. That's why we're here, and that's what we do. And whether it's Intel or Google or AMD or HP, we have some of the best companies here. And, we have, and it's also the smallest companies that are here that with a good idea, they're trying to get it launched. So we are so passionate about innovation, and we can't let our government screw it up, frankly. Boy, that's for sure. And you talk about innovation. It has to be the consumer electronics industry always that comes out with more features, more innovative products on the market for, for less expensive money. No other industry that I can ever think of can do that. I mean, sure, you get a new car, great new features, but it costs you more. New appliances, new whatever. Everybody can relate to, yeah, they, they do more than they used to, but, yep, they do cost more. Consumer electronics, for the most part, by and large, continue to become more affordable with all these new features. And take any category, and that, is, that describes it. And I think that's part of what innovation is for this industry, and we're excited to report on it. That's true. We keep the inflation rate down because every year the products get better and they cost less. Yeah. And if you want to be the first one in your block to have something, it will cost more. If you're willing to wait a year or two, it costs a little bit less. But then there's the next generation. Yeah. I mean, some people still have black and white TV waiting for prices no. to come. Yeah, Not very, in this very, country. very few people. <laughs> but, you know... If you want to be an innovator, if you want to be first, obviously you pay a little bit more for it. But what a value industry and, and what a great opportunity we have right at this time in our history. And as we start CES 2010, I wanted to get your take on what you see as just overall trends in the industry, in addition to innovation. What's got you pumped about this business of consumer electronics, and, and where do you see things headed into tomorrow? Well, certainly 3D is uh, pervasive throughout this show. There's over 30 companies showing 3D, and it makes the gaming experience better. And, and we ESPN just announced their sports channel in HD, and, and uh, there's, a, there's a satellite channel, and there's so many announcements about that. Um, and there's mobile TVs here now. Take your TV on the go. 
Um, obviously, there's a whole bunch of smartphones announcements, whether yeah. it's the Google Droid, which is all throughout the show floor, to all their other competitors with Palm and BlackBerry and others. But between those small little screens on the smartphones and those big screens from 3D, there's a whole middle category of screens. There are the e-books, and there's 28 companies in our e-book pavilion. It's just not wow. Amazon anymore. There's the, the, the netbooks. There's tablets. There's all these people thinking, hey, you know what? You don't need that full laptop computer or, or big computer. You could get some of the features. You could get internet access. You could do all sorts of great stuff. So there's a lot of companies competing there in that space. And of course, there's the theme of green. Yes. Um, the, the products are getting more energy efficient. They're getting recycled. Samsung is introducing a product here, which is a telephone that's made of completely recycled parts. And there's a big focus on every company here wants to be more green than the next company, because that's what consumers want. And it's great that the consumer electronics industry are, is spearheading and continues to a lot of those efforts, whether it's innovation and recycling and green and all of it. It's a, an exciting time to be involved in this industry. And, and we are thankful that we are once again broadcasting from CES to launch our new years. And I'm so happy to be here. Well, thank you very much for helping kick things off, and we look forward now. We'll clear the way and start chatting with a bunch of these exhibitors and as many people as we can put on in three weeks' worth of shows and then some. But before you do, I have one thing. I just want to thank you. It's been a phenomenal 15 years. I want to recognize you. I, I, the radio listeners can't see the plaque. But our heartful thanks for 15 years covering the latest and greatest. Well, isn't that nice? Consumer technology. Where Dave, are you hiding this? You've been, you've been phenomenal, <laughs> and our show can officially start, and it'll be a great show because you're here. Well, thank you, Dave. Thank you very much, Gary Shapiro, president and CEO of the Consumer Electronics Association. And even though you're listening on radio, you're able to see the video. Come see the video of not only Gary's interview and Andres uh, zoomed in to this very nice plaque. Thank you very much. Uh, but also all the interviews and highlights from the show floor for the next three weeks on Into Tomorrow. We're back with more from Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.